여기 와서 감사합니다. 예, 이 버츄얼리 관계 참여도 반갑고요. 뭐 기술 혁신이 많이 일어났다고 합니다. 여태까지 역사적으로. 미래에 대해서 얘기한다고 합니다. 일단 매크로를 얘기한다고 그러고요. 지구를 지속 가능한 쪽으로 바뀌어 나간다고 합니다. 두 번째로는 테슬라의 지구적인 필요에 어느 정도 대응하고 있는가를 얘기한다고 합니다. 예, 각각의 팀이 어떻게 또 활동을 하는지 보여준다고 합니다. 세 개로 나눠서 얘기한대요. 자, 모든 이런 것들이 회사에 어떤 의미가 있는지 얘기한다고 합니다. So before we get started, statements made in this presentation are forward-looking statements that are subject to risks and uncertainties. More details. 모델링이야. 앞으로 어떻게 할지를 얘기하는 거지. 뭐 앞으로의 위험성도 다 감안하고 들으시라고 얘기하고 있습니다. Can be found in our written materials. So with that, let's get started. Part 1, Elon Musk and Drew Baglino. 자, 일란 머스크가 나와서 매크로적인 걸 얘기를 한다고 합니다. Master Plan Part Three. Master Plan Part Three. So, as Zach was mentioning, the the thing that I think is we wanted to convey, probably more more importantly than anything else that we talk about here, is that there is a clear path to a sustainable energy Earth. It's not. 지구의 지속 가능한 에너지를 향한 그런 길이 있다고 합니다. It doesn't require. Destroying natural habitats. It doesn't require us to be austere and stop using electricity and sort of be in the cold or anything. The the story, and I think that this holds together quite well, and we'll be actually publishing a detailed white paper with all of our assumptions and calculations, is that there is a there is a clear path to a fully sustainable Earth. Uh, with abundance. In fact, you could support a civilization much bigger than Earth, than, than much more than the, the 8 billion humans. Uh, could actually... 네, 지구보다 더큰 그런 환경을 향해서 가고 있다고 합니다. 그래서 지속 가능한 환경, 풍부한 환경을 만들겠다고 하네요. Be, uh, supported sustainably on Earth. And I'm, I'm just often shocked and surprised by how few people realize this. Um, Most of the smart people I know actually don't see a, a, this clear path. They, they think that um, there's there's not a path to a sustainable energy future, or at least there's not one that. 많은 사람들이 지속 가능한 에너지를 향한 그 길을 잘못 본다고 합니다. Uh, is sustainable at our current population, um, or that we have to resort to extreme measures? None of this is true. 굉장히 추상적인 얘기를 좀 하고 있습니다. 우리 에너지 경제가 굉장히 더럽고 지금 너무 낭비가 심하다고 얘기하고 있습니다. This is the problem statement, but we're here to talk about the solution. Yeah, it's it's like if for some of this I'm going to elaborate because there's 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 a very wide range of technical expertise out there from people who are like, you know, what are level nine wizards in this subject to people who do not do engineering at all. So, if you have a gasoline car, you're 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 converting less than a third, often maybe only twenty five percent 
of the energy in the gasoline is converted into motion. The rest is turned into waste heat. That does no, doesn't do any good at all. And gasoline is emitting energy energy too much. To refine the oil uh, and to transport the gasoline to the gas station. So when you when you look at all that for a typical gasoline car is is actually going to be using less than 20% fully considered of the uh, energy from the oil actually goes into motion. So this is a, when, 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 people, when we see people doing calculations, what does it take to create a sustainable energy earth? They assume that the same energy amount is required. 네, 최근 에너지, 화석연료를 이용한 에너지의 80% 이상이 낭비가 되고 있다고 합니다. Because uh, most of the energy of combustion is waste heat. And even to get the fuel to combust in the first place and get it to the end use, there's a lot lost along the way. I mean, this is the primary energy consumption, 165 petawatt hours a year. Petawatt hour is a trillion, tero, tero, uh, trillion kilowatt hours, so it's a large amount of energy. But the nice thing about electrified economy, it, uh, there's a better way, we're going to talk about it, is that... 네, 뭐 그냥 우리가 에너지 낭비를 많이 심하게 하고 있다 이 얘기하고 있습니다. It has. So this is one of the most enabling aspects of electrifying everything. Uh, is that the sustainable energy economy is that 네, much 그래서 전기차를 하면 은뭐 도움이 많이 된다 그런 얘기를 하고 있습니다. Yeah, we're here, so it could be better than half, but uh, we're, we're trying to have assumptions that are reasonable, not overly optimistic, in fact, slightly pessimistic. Uh, so it's really better than half, but just say for, it's, it's, it's easy to make the argument that we need half as much energy with an electric economy versus a, a combustion economy. Yep. Um, so how the master plan works? Do you want to talk uh, about yeah. um, so, that? So, master plan is to talk about the, the, the thing that is needed is at very large scale that is not currently present is a vast amount of battery energy storage. Uh, our rough calculations are that this is about 240 terawatt hours or 240,000 so, terawatt hours. So, the storage of 240 terawatt hours is actually a very achievable amount. Uh, renewable power is 30TW, manufacturing investment is 10 trillion dollars, so, energy is 1 million dollars. So, that's the combination of electric vehicles and stationary storage. So if you've got solar or wind, you've got to store the energy when the wind is not blowing, the sun is not shining. Um, and so we're assuming sort of an eight to one ratio of uh, stored energy to power. So 30 terawatt hours of power, uh, 30, 30 terawatts of power. Um, our actual- uh, for manufacturing investment is like 어, 조금 더 전기차를 바꾸면 전략을 할수 있는지 그런 얘기를 하는 것 같아요. 그래서 메스터 플랜을 적용했을 때이 정도의 효과가 있다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. Mining, refining, you know, battery factories, recycling, vehicle factories, all the things that we're going to talk about needing to invest in to build this sustainable energy economy. Yeah. Now, if you look at the total world economy, it's just under 100 trillion. So if this was spread out, say over 10 years, it would be 1% of the global economy. Over 20 years, uh, it would be half a percent of the global economy. So, so this is, uh, yeah, it's not an investment to the global economy. Um, as Drew mentioned, you need about half as much energy with an electric economy versus a combustion economy. And in terms of wind and solar, how much land would be used? It's less than 0.2% of the land area of Earth. Um, 0.2%보다도 더 적은 땅을 이용해 가지고 그만큼 에너지 절약을 많이 할수 있다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. And the sun doesn't shine all the time, but it's uh, if you multiply that by say uh, four if you get to get the continuous power, power four or five, uh, then that, that that gives you the land area of solar. And you can put wind and solar often in the same place. So a lot of places that currently have wind, you can put wind offshore. It doesn't even need to be offshore. So Earth is 70% water. Um, so I think we can talk about the next slide. Anyway, the point is that um, with, a, with a pretty, really a remarkably small amount of, of Earth's land area, we can go fully sustainable. Um, yeah. 땅이 and, 얼마 많이 and,필요하지 and 않은데 a, 조금만 땅 가지고도 지속 가능한 발전이 가능하다고 얘기하고 있습니다. Uh, we'll go through that in detail, but we do not see any insurmountable uh, research 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 research. In the end, we should be um, mining less ore to accomplish this economy than we currently do with the fossil fuel economy, and we're going to talk through that. Yeah, yeah. just to, to emphasize that again, the electrified economy will require less mining than the current economy does. Less, but won't. 네, 전기 회사를 하면은 어, 광산업이 좀덜 필요하다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. Five areas of work. First, renewable power, the existing grid, 
화석 연료를 제거하려는 계획을 얘기하고 있습니다. 저렇게 태양열 쓰면요 35%를 화석 연료 줄일 수 있고요 전기차를 바꾸면 21%를 줄일 수 있고 신펌프로 바꾸면 22% 줄일 수 있고요 어, 높은 고열의 열을 전달하는 거를 하면 저렇게 또 어, 화석 연료를 줄여서 쓸수 있다고 합니다. But, uh, but you can make the, the fuel with uh, CO2 and water. So you can make methane with CO2 and water. So, and in you fact, can do that with just electricity. Yes, yes exactly. exactly. So, uh, so in, in fact, fact, on Mars, we hopefully get there at some point, um, the atmosphere is CO2, and there's water ice uh, throughout Mars. So you can take the uh, CO2 and H2O and turn that into CH4, which is methane, and oxygen. 네, 이산화탄소하고 물을 이용해서 어, 전기를 만들 수 있다고 합니다. So first, uh, repowering the existing grid with renewables, and this is going to be a consistent theme. You'll see our estimates for the number of terawatt hours, terawatts, and trillions of investment at the bottom of the page. You know, this is already actively occurring in front of us. 60% of the generation added to the U.S. grid was solar in 2022. 네, 첫 번째로 지금 있는 이 메가팩 같은 거죠. 네, 이런 것들을 이용해서 화석 연료 35%를 줄일 수 있다고 합니다. 그래서 지금 메가와트 스토리지가 24 테라와트 어워나 된다고 합니다. Obviously, Tesla is heavily engaged in this activity as along um, and autonomous, um, and so riding an autonomous uh, gasoline car is going to be analogous to riding a horse or using a flip phone. Uh, that's basically going to be the situation. And we actually took a somewhat conservative assumption here in terms of how many batteries are required, because the more the fleet is autonomous, the, the fewer, the, the smaller the fleet needs to be, just from a utility basis. So we're not accounting for all of those benefits, really much of those benefits at all. 어, 자율주행을 하면은 화석 연료를 더 줄일 수가 있다고 합니다. Rough view from our perspective, of course, we could be wrong, but you know, uh, you can see the sort of breakdown of the fleet by millions of vehicles. Um, you know, our goal is to do 20 million electric vehicles a year. Yeah, fewer vehicles will be needed, at least passenger vehicles. Uh, 자율주행이 되면은 자동차가 좀덜 필요하게 되고요. 예, 그만큼 또 예, 연료를 줄여서 환경에 도움이 될수 있다고 합니다. 네, 숫자들이 다 나오고 있죠. 네, 전기차와 자율주행차로 네, 옮겨가고 있다고 얘기하고 있습니다. Tesla Model 3, it's four times more efficient. 전기차가 훨씬 더 효율적으로 에너지를 쓴다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 내연기관 차보다. 토요타 코롤라랑 비교하고 있네요. 모델 3가 토요타 코롤라보다 네 배는 훨씬 효율적이라고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 화석 연료 21% 줄일 수 있다고 얘기하고 있고요. And just for this is a fun reference. Model 3 can drive over a mile on the energy it takes to boil a pot of water for pasta, and then it can drive another mile on the energy it took to cook the pasta. And that pasta is one pound, and Model 3 is like 4,000 pounds. So just to give you a sense of just like 
what, like, it really doesn't use a lot of energy to move a Model 3, that 4,000 pound object, down the road. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. heat is a lot more energy than motion. Yeah. 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 화석연료 22%를 아낄 수 있다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 그러니까 6 트리언 와트 아워를 절약할 수 있는 거죠. 물론 태양열과 풍력을 이용해서 5 트리언 와트를 또 생산할 수도 있고요. 이 펌프는 uh, 열을 out, 움직이는 게 아니라 house, 뭐 like 어, 열을 움직인다기만 하고 생산을 하는 건 아니라고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. They're just an air conditioner or a refrigerator in reverse. So we're surrounded by heat pumps. There's like, you know, they're all over this factory. They're in your house, um, and, and all this really is is about bringing them to displace all the fossil fuel heating and all the homes business in, in the industry that we can. And from an energy efficiency perspective, there's a three three times reduction in the total energy required to heat these buildings. 네, 힙 펌프를 사용하면은 에너지를 세배 정도 줄일 수 있다고 합니다. There are no uh, cars. Yeah, no as default and at some point we might make a heat pump for our home. So yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Um next a little bit more detail on electrifying uh high temp uh sort of industrial chemical processes. So over 50% 네, 전기화 시켜서 높은 고열을 전달하고 하이드로젠을 수소를 전달한다고 합니다. 보리 A 트리 테라 와트 아워를 생산할 수 있고요. 태양열과 풍력을 이용해서 6 트리언 와트를 생산하고. 그래서 화석 연료를 17%로 또 줄일 수 있다고 합니다. 오열을 생산한 다음에 제대로 전달을 해낸다고 합니다. 고온을 잘 전달하고요. 뭐 수소 생산에도 도움이 된다고 합니다. And this is the way to eliminate fossil fuels from these aspects of the economy and the CO2 associated with them. Yeah, so I mean, um, some of this, uh, there's like room to disagree, but uh, this, some amount of hydrogen is needed for industrial processes. My personal opinion is that hydrogen will not be used uh, meaningfully in transport, uh, but, um, and it shouldn't be. Um, it's, if you're going to use a chemical uh, fuel, you should uh, use CH4, not H2. Uh, But, uh, but nonetheless, it is needed for industrial processes and can be produced uh, just by splitting water, essentially. I mean, something that's been done for decades and decades. Yeah. This is not. 네, 수소를 생산하는데 도움을 줄수 있다 이렇게 얘기하고 있습니다. Uh, yeah. um, and lastly, a small part of the pie, but a necessary part of the pie, is sustainably fueling planes and boats. 다섯 번째로. Um, shipping accounts for three percent of global CO2. It's ripe for electrification. 연료를 옮기는 비행기라든지 배 같은 거 이런 것도 생산하면서 5% 정도 화석 연료를 줄일 수 있다고 합니다. 전기 비행기나 전기 배를 만들려고 하는 것 같아요. You need to redesign the ship and not just um, or the plane, and the plane uh, to take advantage of the fact that it is a new uh, source of uh, energy. It's a, it's, a, it's a different architecture. So. You, 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 just like with an electric car, you wouldn't just you know take a gasoline car and stick a battery in it. That's very, very suboptimal. Um, it's much uh, more efficient to have the battery be the structure of the car, 
Um, and, uh, 배터리를 you know, 이용해서 차를 만드는 게 훨씬 효율적이라고 얘기하고 있습니다. For battery, for Say, if, if aircraft, 비행기도 uh, 마찬가지죠. Aircraft, uh, around, with, with cells at around 450 watt hours per kilogram, which you can buy it right now. Actually, it's expensive, but I think uh, that, that price will come down. 뭐 지금은 비싸지만 가격은 계속 떨어질 거라고 얘기하고 있습니다. We end up with the numbers we shared at the beginning of the presentation. 30 terawatts. 지속 가능한 미래를 위해서 우리의 투자가 계속 늘어나고 있다고 얘기를 하고 있고요. 자, 숫자들을 보여줬습니다. <웃음> 예, 뭐 이게 가능하냐, 가능하다고 합니다. 2030년까지 계속해서 이 생산 능력을 키워 나간다면 2050년까지 100% 지속 가능하다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. Um, when we look at uh, the electric vehicles, they have to grow 11x. Well, they, they grew 60% year on year last year. That growth rate is also going to close pretty, pretty darn. 대학열하고 풍력이 또 세배 정도 증가를 시키고요. 계속해서 성장을 해 나간다고 합니다. Tesla's energy storage business has grown at 65% CAGR since 2016. The global, you know, energy storage businesses is growing. 2 0 1 6년에 반해서 굉장히 많이 성장을 했다고 얘기하고 있고요. As this momentum of the transition to sustainable energy accelerates, and of course, our goal on this page is 20 million EVs per year and one terawatt hour of stationary storage per year. Basically, it's. 2030년까지 2천만 대씩 생산을 한다고 합니다. What about this investment? How do I have a reference point on this investment? You know, Elon mentioned it's. 10% of you know uh, one year's world GDP. Another way of thinking about it is how does it compare to what we're investing, like what we invested last year in the fossil fuel infrastructure, um, and and it's 60% of that investment. So actually, building this sustainable energy uh, economy is is less than extending. 2022년에 봤을 때 화석 연료에 투자는 14 트리언 달러나 됐는데 어, 전기 쪽에서는 10 트리언 달러밖에 투자를 안 했다 그렇게 얘기를 하고 있죠. Land as a reference point, um, the total uh, land area intensively farmed today is 12.5% of all land. So I mean, you drive around, you see some farms, but you don't see them everywhere. This is this is an order of magnitude, more than order of magnitude difference between. 재생 에너지에 12.5%밖에 투자를 안 한다고 지금 얘기를 하고 있습니다. It doesn't need to displace farmland or you know forests or jungle or any any kind of ecological preserve. It can be used in in very sparsely populated desert regions, barren areas. Areas that are just not really fit for development or otherwise used. So yeah, yeah. 투자에 적합하지 않은 땅도 이용해서 재생 에너지는 생산할 수 있다고 얘기하고 있습니다. No meaningful ecological impact. In fact, transition to a sustainable energy economy. 이 지속 가능한 에너지 생산에는 생태적인 영향을 많이 미치진 않는다고 얘기를 하고 있네요. And what about on the mineral extraction side? So this is a cartoon that sort of gives you a sense for all the ore. 광물을 채취하는 쪽에서도 좀 에너지를 줄여 나갈 수 있다고 얘기하는 거죠. 화석 연료는 광물을 많이 생산하는데 그만큼 환경 피해가 많은데 광물 생산하는데 전기 쪽은 이 재생 가능한 에너지 쪽은 그만큼 적게 쓴다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 마스터 플랜 3는 환경 보호인 것 같아요. Actually reduces. Now it's not to say that we don't need to continue to explore, you know, bring on mining and refining for the sort of specific materials for the sustainable energy economy. We do, but the investment in mass flows are all very achievable. Just looking at what is already happening on the planet, like this is nothing out of scale of what has been done and is already being done. Um, and then when we calculate it on a sort of you know element by element basis, the resources are there to support the transition. You know, this is cumulative demand to move in the sustainable energy economy direction until 2050. 지속 가능한 에너지로 옮겨가기 위해서 이러한 강물들이 필요하다고 하는데 니켈이 좀 많이 필요하고 리튬도 많이 필요하고 징크하고 카퍼, 코발트 이런 것들이 좀 많이 필요하다고 합니다. Move forward. History teaches the more we look, the more we find. What people think happens is, oh, there's this many resources. Next year there's going to be less because we're going to extract them. What actually happens is, as we Uh, extract resources, we, we find more. 
예, 사람들은 이런 광물이 점점 줄어들 거라고 생각하는데 탐험을 하면 할수록 이런 광물들이 더 늘어난다고 얘기하고 있습니다. 예, 보시면 알겠지만 니켈, 리튬 이런 것들은 캐면캐시로 더 늘어난다고 하네요. 그 전에 많이 생산이 안 돼서 그런 것 같아요. There is, there's no country that has monopoly on lithium, uh, or even. 어느 나라도 리튬을 독점하고 있지는 않다고 합니다. Lithium or in the United States to electrify all of Earth, if if the, if the United States was the only place producing lithium, there's enough domestic uh, material to uh, electrify uh, Earth. Um, it's very common. Um, the the, the limita- limiting factor. Uh, is the refining of the lithium into battery grade lithium hydroxide or lithium carbonate that's the actual limiting factor and the same is true for these other lithium을 정제하는 게 굉장히 힘들다고 합니다 지금 미국에서 그걸 잘 하고 있다 그러는 것 같아요 nickel is maybe the of them all the trickiest one to to solve but as We, sh- we showed with the graph there, maybe need like 30% of the world's nickel, no nickel reserves. So And the nickel reserves have actually grown since yes. 2000. Yes, uh, there is more, yeah, exactly. So, um, and you only need nickel for uh, basically aircraft, long-range boats, um, and very long-range cars or trucks. Uh, but the, the vast majority of the heavy lifting uh, for electrification will be uh, iron-based uh, uh, Nickel도 많이 필요한데 보통 이렇게 장거리로 가는 비행기라든지 자동차 이런 거에 니켈이 많이 필요하고 그 외에는 또 철이 많이 필요하다고 합니다. It is made of iron more than anything else, and second, oxygen, and then everything else after that. So basically, we're a muddy rust ball, is what Earth is. So an iron Cathode is sort of you're definitely not going to run out of iron. There's so much iron, it's insane. Yeah, 철이 좀 부족하다고 얘기하네요. So that, that's it, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, and ultimately, you know, this resource uh, ex- extraction, we, we go through this effort, we build these batteries, um, and then we recycle these batteries. So ultimately, we're we're doing this to build this sustainable energy economy, but the maintenance amount of 네, 결국에는 이런 자원을 쓰고 다시 폐기하지 않고요. 배터리를 다시 리사이클을 한 다음에 다시 쓴다고 얘기를 합니다. 그래서 지속 가능한 에너지를 달성한다고 하네요. And I really want today to be not just about Tesla investors who own stock, but really anyone who is an investor in Earth. 테슬라 투자자들은 지구에 투자하고 있다고 얘기하고 있습니다. 오늘의 주된 메시지라고 얘기하고 있습니다. 긍정적으로 보자고. 우리가 지구가 지속 가능하게 발전할 수 있다는 것은 과학의 근거를 증거라고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 감사합니다. 이게 다는 아니겠죠? <웃음> And, uh, I just want to welcome up uh, Lars and Franz. 자, 주가는 조금 떨어졌네요. <웃음> 자, 이제 마스터 플랜 세계 중에 큰거 하나 나왔고요. Hi. Hi, I'm Franz. I um, lead design at Tesla. And I'm Lars. Uh, I've been doing vehicles with Franz for almost 13 years. Yeah. 테슬라 디자인하는 사람이 다시 나왔습니다. So I joined Tesla in 2008 to vertically integrate design into the company. It didn't exist before. It was a pretty small team. It was tasked with designing most beautiful, innovative, yeah, Tesla design and well-engineered vehicles on the planet. Yeah, Tesla designed most beautiful, small task in 2008. There was not a lot going on in the EV sector then. Since then, we focused on constant improvement in cost, efficiency, innovation. 계속해서 효율성 있는 차를 만들려고 하고 혁신적으로 노력을 했다고 합니다. 지난 10년 동안. The most desirable cars. Today we produce cars differently than we did 10 years ago. But the end result is always an exciting. 10년 전하고 지금 차 만드는 건좀 틀리다고 얘기하고 있습니다. Back then we only had a handful of designers and engineers like myself, but we had a great vision. 예, 디자이너랑 엔지니어가 몇명 없었는데 지금은 좀 많다고 얘기하고 있죠. So back in 2008 we were designing Model S. We didn't have a factory. 
자, 모델에서 만들 때 우리 팩토리도 없었다고 얘기하고 있고요. 옛날 얘기하고 있습니다. But that allowed design to lead all the conversations. It let us innovate for the s e How do you fit seven people into a sedan? Or how do you make door handles disappear into the, into the doors? Or putting a huge touch screen into the center of the. Yeah, 예, touch screen이라든지 손잡이라든지 많은 거를 생각을 해왔다고 하죠. And we won Motor Trend Car of the Year. Yes, and we won Motor Trend Car of the Year in 2013. Our first, our first, you know, great award, first car. Um, pretty good, pretty good start. Kind of a home run, I think. 자 모델 S 시작을 참 잘했다고 합니다. That whole process resulted in a linear process that you see on the screen. We we designed first. 디자인을 먼저 하고 그 다음에 엔지니어 생각하고요 그 다음에 제조를 한다고 합니다 일단 디자인을 하고 본다고 합니다 엔지니어는 나중에 생각하고 예, 프레머 공장에 갔을 때 제조 솔루션을 생각한다고 합니다 그래서 우리는 우리가 더 좋은 것 같아요 우리는 더 좋은 것 같아요 우리는 더 좋은 것 같아요 And as part of the master plan that you had, 좀 이렇게 규모의 경제를 달성하려면 좀 다르게 해야 되겠다는 생각을 했다고 합니다. 그래서 모델 3를 만들어냈는데 디자인 엔지니어링과 제조를 한꺼번에 생각했다고 그러죠. And so we we approached the process a little bit differently than the first time around. Now we had teams that we all work together, so we were able to combine. 모든 팀이 이제는 같이 행동을 한다고 합니다. All at the same time, but somewhere along the way, we changed the manufacturing process to be fully automated. Yeah, 그 다음에 제조 과정을 자동화했다고 합니다. We had already engineered it, so things didn't quite go as well as planned. It was an amazing product. Yeah, 계획한 대로 잘 되진 않았지만, yeah. Many of us who lived through that. Carry those battle scars. It was a good idea. But it wasn't the right time. Like John said, automating something that we designed to be built manually is super hard, and we have many, many failed examples of that at the Fremont factory that we ripped out. But some of them are eventually still. This is why I actually worked on the small team engineers. It's still running today, and some of the engineers that came by said we couldn't do it or no longer with the company. But it's running. Engineers, well, not able to do that. Many of them. So we kind of self-imposed constraints on the design when we were doing it to be built manually, and we really didn't think about it. But despite all that, Model 3 is the best-selling EV ever. Yeah, 수동적으로 지을 때는 생각 못했는데 자동화하면서 좀 문제가 있었다는 거죠. It's about to pass that. But we knew we had to improve the process further, and with Cybertruck. Yeah, Cybertruck. We designed a vehicle around a vision that actually started with the manufacturing process, and in this case, the materials dictated the design. 과정을 좀 달리해서 제조 먼저 생각을 했다고 합니다. But it sure isn't easy, and it limited the way we could do it. Yeah, absolutely. It really forced us to think about designing something in a way that you couldn't normally stamp panels. You couldn't form them in a traditional way. So you ended up with very linear. Um, bending processes that are just not in automotive kind of language of manufacturing today. Yeah, but 다른 자동차랑 틀리게 사이버 트럭은 일단은 제조를 새로 바꿔서 만들기 시작했다고 합니다. It's definitely something that's going to change the road landscape. Hopefully you guys saw it down there and you experienced it. It's definitely real. Those are real trucks. We're on our way to build them. Yeah, 실제 트럭이고요. But what that stainless steel opportunity did for us, it has let us rethink the factory footprint. We don't stamp those. That's a huge part. We don't even paint them. So our footprint got smaller, and we started to think about innovative ways to take those constraints and make great products. But that constraint didn't really change the end result of the truck. It's a super dynamic truck, and it has all the functionality you would expect out of any of the other competitive trucks. And the best thing about it, it's coming this year. 올해 나온다고 합니다. 테슬라 트럭 올해 나온대요 결국. 다 알고 있는 거죠. So ideally, after all that, we would design, engineer, manufacture, and plan for automation happening together. It gives us the opportunity to question. 네, 뭐 생산하는 모든 과정을 다 하나로 합쳤다고 합니다. 디자인하고 엔지니어링하고 제조하고 자동화를 다 하나로 합쳐서 생각을 했다고 합니다. I know has all these teams together thinking about these processes. From the very beginning. In fact, all of those engineering teams, manufacturing, design, automation, they're all in one work. 
They all report to one person. We can't point fingers at each other. 한 사람한테 모두 보고를 하면서 모두가 한꺼번에 생산하기 시작했다고 합니다. Traditional way of making a vehicle is this: you stamp it. You do build the body in white. You paint it. 뭐 옛날에는 스탬프하고 바디 만들고 페인트하고 그다음 마지막에 조립하는 거였는데. The the organizational structures that exist, and they're dictated by the boundaries that exist in the factories that are laid out. If something goes wrong in final assembly, you block the whole line, and you end up with buffering in between. 마 마지막에 조립할 때 힘들었다고 합니다. 저런 과정을 거쳐서. Manufacturing optimization. Henry Ford first invented this assembly line in 1922. 이게 1922년에 포드가 개발한 과정이라고 합니다. And when you watch it happen, it's actually really silly to a guy like me. You take all these stamp panels, you put them together, then you put it in a frame station. You build the body that looks something like a car. You put the doors on, and then you paint them. Once you get the color, you take the doors off. And then you start putting the interior inside the car. Paint it. 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 Paint Most of the time, we're doing this with a big, giant car and moving it and doing really nothing to it at all. What's funny, though, in this kind of whole process is that just recently, Toyota just called this an engineering work of art. True. The Model Y. That that was humbling, but at Tesla, it's not good enough. If we're going to scale the way we want to do, we have to rethink manufacturing again. 네, 모든 것을 새롭게 생각하기 시작했다고 합니다. We started this on Model Y when we made these huge giga castings, and we deleted hundreds of parts. We simplified the assembly of the Model Y structural battery, where we decided the floor should be a part of the car. The battery is the floor. We put the seats in the interior on the battery. 배터리를 먼저 만들고 자리를 붙이고 그 다음에 위에다가 저거를 실고. 뭔가 좀 다르게 만든다고 합니다. Yeah, I mean, in in a way, the the constraints. 신기하죠. 뼈대를 먼저 만드는 게 아니라 밑에 배터리에다가 자리를 먼저 붙인 다음에 위에를 붙입니다. When you have a car that's about five meters long, and you have people working around it, like we did in Model Three, 다음 세대 차는 모델 3랑 만드는 과정이 틀리다고 합니다. We can do more at the same time, like we did with the Model Y structural battery pack. What you see here is us doing that on the front part of the vehicle, or the rear part of the vehicle. That means we can get more people working on the car or robots working on it at the same time. That means we have better operator density, less time doing nothing. I call that space-time efficiency. It has nothing to do with quantum mechanics. We can have that conversation later. But we get 44% more operator density, which means more work. 모든 사람들이 한 번에 붙어가지고 차를 더 빠르게 만들 수 있다고 합니다. 시간을 절약하면서. And because we're not building it in and out of the car with those slow movements of those robots I showed you. 차에 들어갔다 나갔다 들어갔다 나갔다 이렇게 할 필요가 없다는 거죠. In the end, that will probably look something like this, where we balance parallel and series manufacturing in a way where we only do things that are necessary. 평행적이고 순서적인 이런 조립 방식을 좀 바뀌었다고 하네요. Optimize material flow using the best practices. What that means, it's going to look something like this, where we build all the sides of the parts independently. We only paint what we need to, and then we assemble the parts of the car once. And only once we put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the bottom. We put them where they need to go. The interior is attached to the b
네, 지금은 모델 Y를 저렇게 만들고 있다고 합니다. 네, 다음 세대 비이클은 더 효율적으로 만든다고 하는 거죠. 자본을 좀 적게 쓰면서 새로운 공장에서 더 빠르게 차를 생산할 수 있게끔 만들려고 한다고 합니다. Zach's going to go into more details on this later, but it also means through this innovation and some of what my other engineering colleagues are going to talk to you about in the future, we'll reduce costs as much as 50%. This is the future of our economy. Yeah, so I think our track record proves that we can deliver the best cars, and we deliver the best cars in spite of, because of these constraints. And I'd love to really show you what I mean. And unveil the next-gen car, but you're gonna have to trust me on that. 다음 세대 차를 지금 공개할 생각을 하고 있는 거 봐요. And I promise we'll always be delivering exciting, compelling, and desirable vehicles as we always have. Have we ever not? We always do. But what else is Tesla known for? Speed. So with that, we're going to Colin, who's in charge of making the next-gen car. 자 이제 다음 사람이 나오네요. Thank you, Lars. Thank you, Franz. My name is Colin Campbell, and I have the real privilege of leading powertrain engineering here at Tesla. We make the fastest cars that you can buy for the money, whether they're electric or gas. And the Model S plan that we're looking at here is more than a thousand horsepower. Pound for pound, the motors in that car are as powerful as jet engines. Yeah, jet engine 만큼 힘이 세 가지고요, 굉장히 빠르다고 합니다. And the other thing that you probably all know about our powertrains is that they're efficient. 굉장히 효율적인 파워트레인을 가지고 있다고 하죠. 만들고 제조하는데 굉장히 효율적이라고 얘기하고 있습니다. So since we launched it back in 2017, we've continuously improved that powertrain and the factory that builds it. So the drive unit, the engine of the car, is 20% lighter. 네, 계속해서 효율적으로. We use 25% less. 예, 공장도 더 줄여 나가. 예, 공장 공간도 좀 줄이고. Powertrain factory, which is behind me. 이제 여러모로 조금 어 자원도 좀 적게 쓰고 그 다음에 좀 가볍게 하면서 생산을 한다고 합니다. 여러모로 이런 장점들이 있다 그러죠. Without compromise, our cars are just as powerful. 모든 쪽에서 비용을 많이 줄였는데도 불구하고 여전히 차가 힘이 마력이 좋다고 합니다. 어떻게 우리가 이렇게 했냐 이렇게 말을 하고 있습니다. We have small and highly capable teams. To make a critical decision, we can have the battery cell chemists. Yeah, battery. Butter. 해가지고 제조 과정 모든 것들을 하나로 합쳤기 때문에 그런 게 가능했다고 얘기하고 있죠. The software programmers, all in one room, working together in real time. Battery, 광물, 뭐 소프트웨어 다한 방에서 다 일처리를 한다고 얘기하고 있습니다. That approach is unlike traditional automotive engineering, which is really fractured. And if you were to go buy like a premium German electric car. The engineers who designed the drive inverter in that car, they did not work for that company. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. And the factory that built it. They worked for a contractor. We designed our own custom package, which is what you're seeing here. Yeah, transistor. We can extract twice as much heat out of that package as we can out of the shelf. Custom design. What does that mean? It means that the silicon, the silicon carbide wafer inside the package is much smaller. And silicon carbide is an amazing semiconductor, but it's also expensive. 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 Orchestrating all of these transistors and making them switch in the right ways is computationally extremely intensive. It used to require four microprocessors, 
이 프로세서를 CPU 같은 거죠. 이런 것들을 자기네가 직접 개발을 하면서 굉장히 효율적으로 만들었다고 합니다. And these are just two examples of many that I could use to showcase our expertise in high power electronics. And that expertise has allowed us to take the cost of the chargers that were in our o l s e s l a both the cost and the mass, and cut both of those in half. And even more important, the power electronics are central not just to our cars. They are also central to our superchargers and to our energy storage products. 이런 프로세서는 슈퍼찰러라든지 뭐 메가팩 이런 데다 중요하다고 얘기를 하고 있네요. 소프트웨어도 직접 개발하고 있다고 합니다. 소프트웨어를 이용해서 이렇게 자력을 좀 바꿔줘서 굉장히 더 빠르게 한다고 합니다. 수업은 온라인이라서 10분 전에만 나가면 됩니다. 6시인데 아직 시간 좀 있어요. I want to highlight one more area where Tesla really excels because we integrate work that is often farmed out. So when you are making a new product, it's not enough to think about the product itself. You have to think about how you're going to make it at scale. 자, 제품을 만들 때는 규모의 경제를 이루기 위해서 어떻게 많이 만들까, 효율적으로 만들까를 생각한다고 합니다. They are in the same room as the engineers who are designing the machine that's going to put that motor together. And that collaboration pushes us from day one to design products that are not only high performance but are really easy to assemble. So, all of this expertise we have in the powertrain team, in hardware, in software, in manufacturing, it's going to have a major impact on our next platform. Hardware, software, 이런 것들을 다 제일 개발해서 다음 플랫폼을 만든다고 합니다. That are key component but expensive. We figured out a way to use 75% less without compromising the performance. 네, 오늘은 주제가 비용을 많이 줄이고 재료를 좀 적게 쓰고 이런 게 주제인가 봐요. 그래서 비용을 천불 정도를 뭐 줄인다고 하는데 이렇게 되면은 차 가격을 더 떨어뜨리고 수익을 더 올릴 수 있죠. 어, 중요한 포인트라고 생각합니다. We want to make EVs more accessible to people. They have to be cheaper. We've reduced the drive unit cost. About a thousand dollars. We don't think any other automaker is even close to that number. Finally, the bigger factor is. Yeah, battery chemistry, 라든지 silicon 사용량이 라든지 모든 쪽에서 절약을 많이 한다고 합니다. We're going to be able to scale EV production faster. Our next powertrain factory is 50% smaller than the one that's behind me today, even though it has the same capacity. 공장 공간도 많이 필요하지 않나 봐요. 확실히 다른 전기차 회사라든지 기존의 내연기관차보다는 비용 절감이 굉장히 좋은 것 같아요. 그만큼 투자 가치가 있는 것 같아요. 수익이 많이 늘어나요. 투자자의 날이라 그런지 비용을 줄여서 마진율을 올린다는 이런 얘기를 더 많이 하는 것 같습니다. Even better than this, we have designed our next drive unit, which uses a permanent magnet motor, to not use any rare earth materials at all. So how does all this fit into the master plan? Yeah, 그래서 좀뭐 희귀한 방물이 좀 필요하긴 한가 봐요. We're going to use less of constrained commodities, silicon carbide, rare earths. We're going to build them all in compact and high output factories that are easy, easy for us to build. 아니네요. 예, 그래서 좀 귀한 강물 이런 거 특별히 필요 없다고 이렇게 얘기를 하고 있습니다. And this achievement, like all of the achievements that I mentioned today, it's only possible because of the incredible people on our powertrain teams. They are absolutely committed. To the cause of sustainable energy, and that is why we can do. 우리가 또 좋은 팀을 가지고 있어서 열심히 또 이렇게 좋은 파워 트레이너를 달성하려고 노력을 한다고 합니다.
이제 세 번째 일렉트로닉 아키텍처에 대해서 얘기하네요. 전자 설계에 대해서 얘기를 합니다. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to uh, Texas. Pictured here is the low-voltage system of a Model S from 2012. 자, This comes primarily designed with v e n d o r s o u r c e c o n t r o l l e r e s integrated by Tesla. So, this is a low-voltage system that c o m b i n e s e v e r y t h i n g f r o m t h e m u n d a n e l i k e t h e i n f o t a i n m e n t c o m p u t e r t o t h e s a f e t y c r i t i c a l l i k e t h e a i r b a g s s t e e r b y w i r e 이런 전선 구조 자체를 굉장히 안전하게 한다고 합니다. 뭐 옛날에는 저렇게 굉장히 복잡했다고 얘기하는데 이거를 좀 효율성 있게 간단하게 바꿨다고 지금 설명할 것 같네요. These wire harnesses introduce extraordinary complications, especially in the early stages of development and bring up of a vehicle, because when we're trying to bring up this entire system and we see that it's not working properly, we don't know whether it's a problem with the software, with the controller, the processor, any of the endpoints in this entanglement of wires. 전선이 좀 잘못되면 소프트웨어 문제인지 뭐 어떤 문제인지 잘 파악을 할 수가 없다고 합니다. So we're going to talk briefly about a few things that we've changed over the years since the Model S. With the Model 3, Tegra, Tesla started s i g n Model S를 new PC share of our controllers. And we were able to simplify the design. With a significant reduction in wire count and weight. 예, 전선 숫자를 좀 줄이고요. 훨씬 더 간단하게, 심플하게 만들었다고 합니다. 전선을. And this is a pretty big deal. And just to put that into context, our VP of Engineering, Lars, will deliver a, a bottle of your favorite spirit to your desk if you manage to save a kilogram of weight from the car. So this improvement cost him quite a lot. Did we skip one? Yep. Yeah. Um, the original Model 3 controllers were enhanced and then in, built into Model Y. Model 3 controllers were then moved back into Model 3 when we introduced the e-pump. At that point, we had a shared controllers across both cars, which helped simplify our supply chain. Those Model 3 and Y controller designs were then updated and enhanced for the new versions of Model S. Tesla가 직접 디자인한 컨트롤러들의 통제 장치가 저렇게 늘어났다고 합니다. 모델 3는 56%, 모델 Y는 61%, 사이버트럭은 85%까지 늘었고요. 다음 세대 차는 100%까지 늘어난다고 합니다. 오늘 다음 세대 차가 나올지 안 나올지 모르겠네요. 사이버트럭까지 얘기를 했는데. 마지막에 넥스트 제너레이션 비크 사이버트럭 다음 차가 소개될 수도 있겠다는 생각을 하는데 <웃음> 끝까지 봐야 될것 같은데. develop features and functionality that we never even dreamed of at the time we designed the hardware. So that's why you see software in your car is getting better and better over time in ways that we didn't even think of when we designed the hardware in the first place. Yeah, century mode. 예, 디제 처음에 하드웨어를 디자인할 때 생각 못 했는데 소프트웨어가 굉장히 빨리 발전하고 있다고 합니다. Introduction of Model 3 in 2017. We deleted relays and fuses from the car in favor of e-fuses. 하고 릴레이에서 전자 퓨즈로 이렇게 바뀌어 갔다고 하죠. 위에 있는 사진은 퓨즈하고 릴레이를 보여주는데 이런 식으로 차가 옛날에 되어 있다면 지금은 일렉트로닉 퓨즈로 바뀌어서 약간은 프로세서처럼 좀 약간 트랜지스터 같이 바뀐 게좀 보입니다. 그래서 이렇게 좀좀 네, 좀 생산 과정을 더 업그레이드 한것 같아요. When I think about that, 전반적으로 보면 은 테슬라가 노력을 굉장히 많이 하고 있는 건 보입니다. 확실히 효율적이고 확실히 잘 나가는 자동차 회사는 틀리네요. and context specific behavior into what otherwise would have been a piece of hardware that had to get optimized for one type of scenario. 그래서 yeah. 맥락이 있게끔 yeah. 발전을 한다고 합니다. In 2022 we completed the transition from lead acid batteries to lithium ion batteries and all 네, 리튬 배터리로 바꿨다죠. 네, 납, 납 중심의 이런 배터리에서 리튬 이온 배터리로 바꿨다고 하죠. to wake up to a dead battery uh, ever again. This eliminates a major source of uh, failures for our car. And the tool's connector uh, makes it easier to service the car, and it also includes a sub-feature to allow. Lithium-ion battery를 사용하면 평생 쓸수 있다고 하고요. 기존의 배터리들은 4년밖에 못 썼다고 합니다. Properly installed at the end of a service event, which removes another source of failures in our cars. Obviously, the mass and volume savings are also significant, which is super helpful. 
Um, at Tesla, we're always trying to improve every single component in the car, and a nice example of that is the 15-inch display that was originally shipped in the 2017 Model 3. Um, over time, 뭐 여러모로 보유 비용을 많이 줄인 얘기를 또 하고 있습니다. 부속 같은 것도 많이 줄였죠. 그래서 2017년, 16년에 비해서 비용이 많이 줄어든 게 보입니다. 뭐 무게도 줄었고요. 네, 부속이 많이 싸졌다고 합니다. 네, 확실하게 전기를 조금 더덜쓸수 있는 예, 그런 어, 아키텍처를 만들어 가고 있다고 합니다. 네, 2023년에 확실히 볼티지가 확 낮아진 게 보이죠. 전기를 훨씬 더 적게 쓰면서 예, 배터리 소비를 그만큼 더 멀리 갈수 있겠죠. 정말 그런데 굉장히 기술적인 거 얘기를 많이 하네요. 뭐 주가는 어떻게 돼 가고 있나요? 주가는 많이 떨어졌네요. 역시 오브까지 떨어졌는데 제가 수업이 있어서 가긴 가야 되는데 제가 많이 와 계시긴 한데 조금만 더 있다 갈까요? 한 10분만 더 보고 가겠습니다. <웃음> 예, 뭔가 신 모델이 나와야 되는데 사이버 트럭 얘기를 해주고 있습니다. 이제 사이버 트럭에 사이버 트럭에서는 전기를 좀 적게 쓴다고 합니다. 그런 아키텍처를 또 만들어 냈고요. For cyber truck design, we have moved to a local controller where the wire is connected to the nearest controller, and those controllers are connected over Ethernet. Wires are routed to the nearest controller where the data is converted into a network packet for transmission to the correct location in the car. To be effective, the network must be reliable, have low latency and low jitter, and these are all attributes that we've been able to achieve with the current design. The design has eliminated most of the crosswire car wires in Cybertruck. And we have a lot of dynamic changes on the fly um, to how components in the vehicle talk to each other. rather than the traditional approach of separate CAN buses that are spread throughout the vehicle. 서로 서로 뭐 따로 따로 노는 게 아니라 서로 잘 이제 신호를 주고 받을 수 있도록 뭐 아키텍처를 바꿨다고 합니다. 저만 졸린가요? 뭐 기술적인 얘기 하면 좀 듣기가 힘들죠. 그래서 다음 세대 비크를 지금 천으로 덮어놨는데 사이버 트럭 다음에는 또 어떻게 발전을 시킬지 모르겠습니다. 아직 뭐 공개를 오늘 안할 생각인가요? 아니, 투자자들한테 비용을 얼마나 줄여 나가면서 수익을 얼마나 많이 낼수 있는가 우리가 마진율이 올라갈 수밖에 없다 이런 얘기를 하는 거죠 자 소프트웨어 이제 얘기로 넘어간다고 합니다 over the air in all the controllers throughout the entire vehicle at a time when other cars were just starting to update software in only their infotainment units. 업데이트를 괜히 많이 했고요. 소프트웨어 쪽으로 데이터도 너무 많이 늘었다고 합니다. how the fleet is doing. what customers are doing with it and how it's responding in the field to that usage. 예, 커스터머들이 실제로 어떻게 하는지 데이터도 다 모아서 적용을 했나 봐요. updates and data insights give us the ability to iterate quickly on our software and to maximize the amount that we learn and, and proceed and, and, and 네, 계속해서 데이터를 모아 가면서 발전을 해 왔다고 합니다. We use these capabilities to inform countless design decisions in both software and hardware. Yeah, one example is that we were able to monitor and track the use of the sunroof in our cars and found that our customers never use their sunroof so we made an easy decision to remove it very barely. Yeah, sunroof 소비자들이 이용 안 해서 결국은 없애 버렸다고 합니다. as another example, we are able to use our collision data 
to design our crash safety systems for what happens in the real world. 사람들이 충돌할 때 어떻게 충돌을 하는지 데이터를 모아서 조금 더 안전한 차로 바꿔 가려고 노력을 했다고 합니다. In simulation. 자, 왼쪽으로 충돌을 어떻게 하는지, 오른쪽이 어떻게 충돌을 하는지, 앞으로 뒤로 어떻게 충돌을 하는지 데이터를 모아서 조금 더 안전하게 소프트웨어를 발전시키려고 노력을 했다고 합니다. On this graph, the gray dots that show up first. 네, 실제 사고가 나는 데이터를 모으기 때문에 더미를 이용해서 굳이 실험을 할 필요가 없다고 얘기를 하고 있고요. 조금 더 영리하다고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. Those are what we design for and what we test to. Right. And last year, this data was used to change the algorithm for seatbelt tensioning to reduce injuries in the field. 알고리즘도 좀 바꿔서 좀 안전 벨트 같은 거 얼마나 강하게 매는지 이런 것까지도 다 바꾼다고 합니다. Here are a few statistics that demonstrate how staggeringly quickly we gain new insights from the anonymized data that we receive from the fleet every day. Every day, 123 million miles driven. 1.9 million charge sessions and those 네, 자동차가 많아지니까 그만큼 데이터도 많이 모이나 봐요. 하루에 1억 2,300만 마일씩 운전이 된다고 합니다. 이마일은 1.6km죠. to optimally size battery packs for our next generations of vehicles. and you'll hear lots of other examples throughout the rest of the day about how we're using data to inform decisions in the product and in manufacturing. 데이터들이 많아서 좀 정보가 풍부한 상태에서 결정을 잘 내린다고 합니다. vertical integration is for us in hardware, but it's especially important for us in software. And this is extremely difficult from the way the rest of the traditional automotive supply chain is set up. In most situations, all the controllers in the car are delivered by different tier one suppliers. whose software is written by tier 2 suppliers, who farm some of that software out to different tier 3 suppliers, and so on and so on. Making a change that spans multiple components takes months of coordination before any work can even start. 소프트웨어를 개발할 때 1개발 팀이 먼저 개발하고 그 다음에 2개발 팀, 그 다음에 3개발 팀 이렇게 개발을 하는데 그런 것들을 다 조종하려면 굉장히 오랜 시간이 걸리는데 그런 걸 없앤다고 얘기를 하는 거죠. as a complete, consolidated, fully contained system. But in the software team, we think about the system as including the vehicle as well as all of our back-end server-side applications and infrastructure and the resultant feedback loop from the entire fleet that informs all the decisions we make as an engineering team. 예, 서버랑 자동차랑 모든 것들을 종합적으로 예, 잘 판단해서 결정을 내린다고 합니다. predictively adjusts and raises the suspension for ride comfort before the car hits a section of rough road. We do that by leveraging the fleet to generate a map of road roughness everywhere our cars drive. Sounds pretty simple, but requires coordination of software across a number of different components inside and outside of the car. 전체 지도상에서 돌아다니는 뭐 차들의 모든 데이터들을 다 모아가지고 네, 적절하게 결정을 내린다고 합니다. Our navigation server, which aggregates the anonymized telemetry from the fleet and annotates our map with things like updated speed limits, lane topology, and now road roughness. The onboard navigation engine, which looks ahead of the route that the car is traveling on. and determines whether things are about to get rough. And finally, the air suspension control, which takes all of those factors into account, and decides if it is appropriate to adjust the suspension for ride comfort. And before we release this feature to the world, we sent prototype versions of it to the entire fleet that ran passively in the background, sending us anonymous data about every time it would have engaged which taught us exactly how it was going to behave in the wild. FSD를 세상에 뿌리기 전에 본인들이 일단은 실험을 많이 한다고 얘기하고 있습니다. Being able to test new algorithms in the background without impacting the car is really critical ability for us, especially for safety critical things like automatic emergency braking. And we've used it to iterate on early versions of our stability control algorithms, which were introduced to the entire Model 3 fleet in 2017. with extreme, extremely high confidence, even on a very foundational and safety critical function. Okay. So far, you've heard me talk a lot about how we leverage our software systems to iterate quickly on the customer-facing product. 
차를 조립하는 과정 가운데 이 차의 소프트웨어가 굉장히 중요한 부분이라고 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 다른 경쟁 자동차들이 따라올 수 없는 게이 소프트웨어 발전 능력인 것 같아요. 예, 소프트웨어 테스트를 좀 일찍 일찍 하면서 자주 자주 한다고 합니다. So now, when a production associate plugs something into the car, the central car computer sees that connection. 차를 만들기 시작하면서 부속을 하나하나 넣을 때마다 소프트웨어가 다 일일이 다 체크를 해서 잘 만들고 있는지를 파악을 한다고 합니다. 사이버트럭 올해 나온다고 얘기했습니다. 아까 언제 나온다고는 얘기 안 했고 올해 나온다고 합니다. 고객들이 문제가 있을 때 미리미리 어떤 문제가 있는지 부속도 미리미리 잘 파, 어, 주문을 잘할수 있게끔 모든 것들이 소프트웨어가 잘 처리되어 있다고 합니다. 자율주행과 인공지능 얘기를 하고 있습니다. 자율주행을 매니지하는 파운데이션을 짓고 있다고 얘기하고 있습니다. Last year we introduced profile synchronization which synchronizes your seat steering and mirror positions as well as your settings, media favorites and stored navigation locations across all vehicles in your account. Internally we have an app that allows our personnel in engineering, manufacturing, delivery and logistics to view, locate and drive all Tesla owned vehicles at their site. 네, 모든 것들이 예, 다 알고리즘을 이용해서 잘 운전자한테 맞게끔 조정을 해준다는 얘기를 하고 있는 것 같아요. 네, 사람이 뭐 자리에 앉던가 뭐 운전대를 잡거나 앉은 배치 매거 이런 것들을 다 사람에 맞춰서 조정을 해준다고 합니다. 모든 이런 데이터들은 어, 보호가 되고 있고요. 소프트웨어가 효율성과 비용 절감 그리고 속도를 올릴 수 있다고 합니다. 어, 집중력이 점점 떨어지고 있어요. <웃음> 아, 수업해야 되는데. 어, 풀셀프 드라이빙 나오네요. 드디어 자율주행 나옵니다. Hey everyone, my name is Ashok Kaliswamy. I work on autopilot and self-driving. 자유주행 얘기하네요. I joined Tesla back in 2014, so I've been working on this for almost nine years now. 일을 했다고 하고요. Yeah, some of you might be wondering, hey, what does self-driving got to do with the plan to a sustainable future? But it's actually a critical part of this plan, and here's why. Currently, when the car is not being used, 
It is sitting idly in parking lots, not doing anything. But when autonomy is truly unlocked, this car, instead of being idle, can go serve other customers. This fundamentally uh, reduces the need to scale manufacturing to extreme levels. 자율주행을 하게 되면은 차가 가만히 서 있는 게 아니라 필요한 사람한테 잘 알아서 찾아가서 예 필요한 사람들을 도와줄 수 있다고 얘기하는 거죠. 많은 것들을 바꿔낼 수 있다고 얘기하고 있습니다. Nonetheless, we at Tesla have made significant strides in making one of the most general systems uh, at sol solving this problem. There are three main parts to get right to build a scalable problem. First is the architecture, the architecture of the AI system. Second is the architecture is the compute. We'll start with the architecture. At Tesla, we are betting on AI machine learning neural networks to help us build a general vision planning system. AI machine learning will solve all these things. We used to have single camera, single frame neural networks that produce some outputs. These were stitched together uh, in some post-processing steps for the planner, but this was very brittle and was not leading to great success. So what we did in the last few years is transition most of our stack into this multi-camera video neural networks. 옛날에 카메라 하나 있을 때 힘들었는데 여러 개로 바꾸면서 조금 낮았다고 합니다. 카메라 여덟 개 쓰고 있죠. And produce a single unified 3D output space. 예, 카메라를 여러 개 쓰면서 3D로 조금 더잘 구현해 낸다고 합니다. Such as the presence of obstacles, their motion, lanes, roads, uh, traffic lights, what have you. This is one example output that you're seeing here. Uh, this is from our occupancy network that predicts the positions of obstacles and their motion. You can see that it precisely captures the swervy, violent motion of this truck next to us. And this helps the planning system to avoid the collision. Yeah, 제 생각에는 지금 계속해서 자기 테슬라가 뭘 하고 있는지를 설명을 하고 있는 것 같아요. Some of the tasks, such as lane connectivity, are more complicated to model using wave methods. Yeah, 그래서 뭐 새로운 버전이 뭐 나온다 이런 거 신, 새 신제품을 발표하기보다는 약간 지금 비용을 줄이기 위해서 뭐 어떤 것들을 하고 있다 이런 걸 계속 얘기하는 것 같아요. 제가 오늘은 이제 20분 있다가 이제 수업을 해야 돼서 지금. 화장실도 가고 예 셋업도 좀 하고 해야 됩니다. 그래서 자 오늘은 여기까지 하도록 하겠습니다. 뭐 앞으로 몇분 있다가 또 뭔가 나올 수도 있을 것 같긴 한데 저 한번 계속해서 예 보시도록 하고요. 유튜브에 이 테슬라 공식 홈페이지 가면 보실 수 있습니다. 자 오늘은 제가 수업이 있어서 일단 가보도록 하겠습니다. 지금 꽤 오랫동안 함께 했는데 좀 늦게 시작해 가지고 끝까지 같이 하지 못해서 죄송하고요 <웃음> 끝까지 잘 보십시오 여러분 <웃음> 자 아무튼 여러분 저 가보겠습니다 내일 아침에 또 뵐게요 뭔가 이제 이 다음에 나오면은 공지를 통해서 알려드리고요 수업 끝나고 알려드리도록 하겠습니다 자 아무튼 뭐 저도 일단은 예 집중력이 좀 많이 떨어지고 있고 수업해야 되는데 머리가 막지가 못하네 <웃음> 자 오늘 여기까지 하도록 하겠습니다 자자요 테슬라 테슬라 예, 유튜브에 가면 테슬라 홈페이지 가서 예, 같이 보시면 될것 같고요. <웃음> 라스트레고님, 마이클님, 해나님 가겠습니다. 예, 뭐, 뭐 이렇게 뭔가 특별한 게막 나오고 yeah, 그러지 않니? 이, 이 특별한 걸 발표하려고 그러면 일란 머스크가 나와야 될것 같은데 이따가 다시 나올래나? 일란 머스크가 나와서 모델 2막 이렇게 보여주고 뭐 그렇게 해야 될것 같은데 그런 거는 안 하는 것 같습니다. 뭐 공정 발표도 안 하고 뭐. 그냥 이 기술자들만 계속 나와서 기술 설명만 했습니다. <웃음> 자, 아무튼, 자, 이따가 뭐가 나올지 모르겠는데 계속 보시고요. <웃음> 자, 가보겠습니다. <웃음> 자, 잔님, 미미님, 한국님, 예, 무사님 가겠습니다. 예, 저 갈게요. 예, 밥 먹을 시간은 없을 것 같네. <웃음> 자, 갈게요, 여러분. 빠이빠이. 안녕. 네, 저 진짜 갑니다, 여러분.